What's going on, everybody? This is Stan JB, and this is another episode of Everyday Tech. Now, I just dropped my Pixel 6 one month review a couple weeks ago, and today we're gonna dive a little deeper and talk about some of the things that I actually don't like about the Pixel 6 Pro. So, this is my video of five things I hate about the Pixel 6 Pro. Now, of course, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because I'm going to try to drop a lot more videos, especially about the Pixel 6 as this is my main device at the moment. So I'm going to have a lot to say over time and as more updates roll out, we're going to have a lot to talk about. Now, first thing first, I hate the at a glance widget. Well, I don't hate the widget per se. It's actually very functional and very useful, but my problem with it is it lacks customization to the extent that I would like, meaning I can't get rid of it. Now, I'm happy that they actually shrunk it down and it takes up less space at the moment, but as somebody who used Android for so long, I am used to having full customization of my home screen. And for some reason, Google decided to force us to have our home screen look how they wanna look. So all I'm saying, Google, is allow us to customize the home screen how we see fit. Let us remove it if we want. Turn it into a strict rigid that we can place and replace at will. Or at the very least, allow us to set our own default home screen so that at a glance widget isn't the first thing we see when we open up our phone. It's pretty weird to me. I don't know why they went around that way and decided to force us to use that widget. Also, honorable mention for this part, that bottom search bar. There's enough ways to search on a Android and we don't need one permanently at the bottom of our phone. Now number two, we definitely got to tone down that camera processor. Now don't get me wrong, the camera is amazing on the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, but the problem is it still seems to assume we're using the older 12 megapixel camera lens. So sometimes you get these over processed or over sharpened pictures. Now, it doesn't happen too often, but it happens more than I would like. It still is a very consistent and fast shooter, but just seeing some refinement in that area would be great. Just tone it down a bit. Have it less sharp, less contrasty, or take the iPhone 13 route and allow us specific picture profiles that we can select prior to taking these photos. That way, once again, we have more control over the look of our photos. Number three, Google, I love you, but come on, what were you guys thinking when you decided to go with this glossy back? Now, the design of the phone looks great, trust me, I love it, but you guys started the whole frosted back phase with the Pixel 3. Why did you go away from it? This would have looked amazing with a frosted matte back. Imagine the S21 Ultra frosted back on this Pixel device. Oof. You almost had it. You were right there. You were so close, guys. Y'all were so close and y'all messed it up. I don't know why y'all chose that. Um, here's to the Pixel 7 actually having a better back than this one. Number four. All right. I'm probably in the minority here, but I actually miss Ambient EQ. If you don't know what that was, it was similar to True Tone that you get on the iPhones where Depending on the lighting situation, it would change the color temperature of the screen. So sometimes it will warm it up a little bit, sometimes it make the image a little colder, but it was nice. It was very, very subtle. But somebody like me who perceives these little changes, it meant a lot to me. And I really liked it. And above all else, I don't think there was a reason to get rid of it. I would love to see you guys put that back in there. No reason it should have been taken out in the first place. But hey, whatever. Google giveth and Google taketh away. Now my fifth and final hate has to be somewhat of a two-parter because to have one, you have to have the other. And that is Project Soli. You know that radar sensor that was in the Pixel 4 and 4XL. I loved it. I didn't care for the, you know, swipe for music, although some people find that very useful. Look up Flossy. Uh, but I loved how it worked ambiently. So when I wasn't thinking about it, it was affecting my usage and my experience with the Pixel software. For one, reach 
and they would light up my always on display. That meant I didn't have to have my always on display on at all times. But as soon as I went to see what was going on, on my phone, it would let me know. Amazing, simple and amazing. But the biggest benefit of that solely radar sensor was face unlock. Guys, I don't know if you ever used the Pixel 4 and 4XL, but it had the fastest, smoothest face unlock of any smartphone in my personal experience. I loved it. It was great. That's something I was really, really hoping would come back with the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Because nowadays, you know, the states are lightening up, so we're not having to wear our masks all the time. Or when you're in the house doing something, it's nice to just be able to look at your phone and pop, opens up. Especially with this uh, finicky fingerprint reader that we have on this guy. Yo, having that face unlock would have been clutch. Now, I know the biggest downside to that would have been we probably would have had that big old forehead that we got on the Pixel 4 and 4 XL. But I'm thinking by now, you guys, you know, work that Google magic. We could have this with not as much of a forehead, probably. I would love to see on the Pixel 7, you know, try to keep the bezels as small as possible. But if you could bring back Soli, I'll take a little bit of a bezel. I'll take a little forehead, just a small one. I don't care because function beats form, in my opinion. So this is just my quick idea about the five things I hate about the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Not a lot to hate about this guy, honestly. It's a solid phone, yo. I mean, nothing works as smoothly for me in my experience than this guy. I've had the Samsungs, I've had an iPhone, but I love this. So, you know, a few refinements. You know, I already know they're working on a new Tensor chip. So hopefully when the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro comes out, we could get some better amazing devices and i'm going to add one little thing to my pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro wish list if you're going to come up with a pro version have it at 5.8 to 6 inches and the 6.7 go the apple route allow us to decide if you want to use a big old pro or a more compact pro that's that's the bonus one for you guys so let me know what you think. Let me know what you wish would change with the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. And let me know what you want to see in the new Pixel 7. I'm going to also try to drop my five favorite things about this device. So stay tuned, hit that bell, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.